what is what's gone wrong with the Israel-Palestine dispute? What's what's most notably gone wrong? Ask yourself, because this is going to come back to you very soon, haunt you again. Well, there are there are two communities: one Arab and actually quite largely Christian, but predominantly Muslim; one Jewish and quite predominantly secular. Both approximately the same size and number, with equally good claims to at least part of the land. The majority of Jewish people in the diaspora and in Israel have for a long time favored a two-state solution to this problem. It's a national question. It's a land question. This is also the expressed view of the United States Congress, of American Jewry, of the United Nations, of the European Union, of the, really, and of the Palestine Liberation Organization. It's what the majority of people involved in this view want. Why can't they get what we all want? Why is it made impossible? Because in both communities, a veto is held by the party of God. In the first case, by the Messianic settlers who think that by establishing fait accompli by violence and stealing other people's land in the name of the Jewish people and in the name of God, they can help to bring on the Messiah. If, they, if only, they say, we get all the Arabs out of this area and all the Jews in, gathered, then the Messiah would come, finally, after such a long, sweaty wait for his arrival. The, on the Arab-Palestinian side, veto is now held, the whip hand is now held by a party that says, you're absolutely right that God decides matters in this territory. You're completely right. Only he can award territory. He's the king of real estate around here. It's just you've got the wrong God. He says it only belongs to Muslims, not just Arabs. Well, Paul says only Muslims, not Christians, not secularists. Let them try and live their lives if they want in Gaza or the West Bank. They'll have a hard time, a harder and harder time. So that the whole world is in danger of going to hell on a sled because of the parties of God in Palestine. And nuclear weapons have been introduced into this combat too by the proxy intervention of other powers and by the Israeli theft of thermonuclear fissile material. And this doesn't complete the picture at all, but just for a brief tour d'horizon, I would say by on or about August this year, the Iranian government will be able to announce that the nightmare we've long pondered and tossed and turned around in our sleep, the, the coincidence of, a, of, a, of an apocalyptic regime with apocalyptic messianic weaponry will actually have occurred, will have been tested and demonstrated. And the, it won't be used, I think, on Israel. It won't be used on America. The Mullahs are rather more crafty and worldly than that, but it will be used for nuclear blackmail, mainly against Sunni Arab uh, neighboring Gulf states who will learn to respect the local regional boss. And we will then live in a world where we'll have to be polite to the parties of God because they are facing us with weapons of mass destruction. So how about that for an opening? <laughs>